A big challenge we have today in security is that everybody is carrying around a really small computer these days. We have these mobile devices that we can take with us no matter where we go. All of our email is on there, all of our contact information, customer information, company private information. And so security becomes really important, especially because these devices, unlike the others in our environment, could be anywhere. And they're very open and accessible. So there are some techniques we want to think about when employing security for these mobile devices. One is to enforce that our screen locks up and we're not using the device. These mobile devices would keep people out of the data because they'd have to type in a passcode to get into this device. And these passcodes can be very simple. They can be four digits. We can also configure our systems to have a non-simple password, one that's a little stronger than a traditional password, where you have to type in an alphanumeric message just to be able to gain access into the, the device itself. You can also set this up so that if you fail too many times, the phone is erased. My iPhone is set up so that if after 10 failed passcode attempts, the device is completely wiped. I obviously keep a backup of this. So if somebody does get my phone, plays around with it, and unknowingly deletes everything on my device, I simply plug it back into my computer, and it's going to restore everything that's there. Along the same lines, we have to think about how the data on the computer, on this mobile device, is stored. We want to be sure that nobody can gain access to that data in other ways. So a lot of these devices will employ encryption that we can enable. And we can sometimes even set the amount of encryption on the device. Maybe we would like it to be the strongest encryption possible. Maybe we would like it a little bit weaker than that. And obviously, there is encryption that has to take place every time you load and save data. It's not a trivial process. There are a lot of CPU cycles involved. It's going to take a little bit more resources on the mobile device to be able to do a stronger type of encryption. But sometimes that's a nice trade off. You know that you're going to be more secure, even though your device is going to run a little bit more slowly, and it's going to use a little bit more power to be able to do that. Obviously, you don't want to then forget your passcode or forget your password. If you encrypt data, there's no way to recover it if you don't have the correct passphrase or the correct password. So that's one of the things we want. We don't want any of our data accessible unless you know the passcode. So make sure you don't forget that if you're using encryption on your mobile device. Security administrators love remote wipe functionality. It's primarily because people who find phones now don't consider that the phone is something they want. They think about the data on the phone being the most valuable thing. And we've found that there are certain organizations that will find your phone. They will buy the phone from someone. Perhaps you left it in the back of a taxi. They'll buy the phone from the taxi driver. He's just getting some money for it. But they're buying it so they can now tap into the data that's on your phone and retrieve as much as possible. So by having the remote wipe functionality, you can be sure that nobody can gain access to the data. As soon as you realize the phone is gone, you have the option to completely erase all of the data on the phone. You log into a web browser. Browser, you say, find my phone and nuke it. Delete everything that's on there. But before you're able to do this, you need to make plans. You need to tell your phone to enable this functionality so that later on, if you are in a position where you need to delete everything on the phone, it's ready. And all you have to do is send the kill message out over your browser, and it's going to delete everything that's on that mobile device. The type of encryption used over our mobile networks is admittedly not very strong. So many people would like to add additional encryption to the voice communications that they will do with their mobile device. This is not something that is very common, but there are certain markets where it becomes very important that nobody be able to tap into what you're saying and hear what's going on. The military, finance, uh, perhaps even some medical environments. But it also requires some specialized hardware. You need a specialized phone, or you need a specialized set of applications that will be able to encrypt that data. And your phone is going to be going through a lot of CPU to be able to do this. Voice encryption is not a trivial process either. So you need to make sure that the phone you're using to do this can keep up and manage encryption of this voice communication. If it's a mobile device, think of having that same amount of security that we already have on our desktop now brought into a mobile computing device. That's some very, very strong capabilities. And if you're in an environment like the military, it becomes an extremely important part of keeping everything safe. 
it's amazing the functionality that's in our mobile devices and a GPS tracking functionality becomes both a help and a hindrance to us. Having precise tracking information allows you to hop into a rental car, step out onto the sidewalk, type in anything, and have your phone essentially guide you to where you need to go. And your phone knows exactly where you are every step of the way within just an amount of feet. It's very, very precise to be able to do this. So there's some great functionality, especially if you lose your phone, you can now go to anybody's browser, anybody else's phone, and find out where your phone happens to be because it has that GPS functionality inside of it. Of course, it can find you. So if somebody wants to track what you're doing, having that GPS functionality provides a very, very precise tracking functionality to know exactly where you are. Most of the devices out there give you the option to disable that functionality that will limit the functionality of your phone. Obviously, you can't bring that up and have GPS tracking to be able to negotiate where you might be driving to, but it also might limit what visibility people see about where you are. Our mobile devices are becoming incredibly powerful. We just need to make sure that we're making them as secure as possible.